All right, well, we got to talk about WrestleMania and the SmackDown show from Friday night. And funny, they had a show a couple of weeks ago where Rock opened the show, and then they had a show last week where Rock closed the show. And the show where he closed the show did significantly better because more people stuck around to watch him at yeah. the end. Yeah. And so they followed up this week by having him open the show again. Mm-hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I mean... They've got their TV deal signed. Well, I mean, here's the thing: the thing. Rock's going to Rock's going to do what Rock wants to do, and you know, I mean, it's been kind of noted. I mean, the the thing, um, I don't want to say that it's like, you know, I'm not trying to say like people are mad or anything because it's the Rock, but but there's a complete double standard because there was actually a memo that went out from Nick Khan to all talent that. You know, this is a PG company, no swearing, not even in social media, obviously not on television, not in social media. There's certain words um, that are routinely used in um, on AEW television that are absolutely not allowed for any talent to use on um, SmackDown or, or Raw for that matter. And Rock used... <laughs> Many of them on SmackDown and more of them, you know, even more stronger ones on social media. So it's kind of like, you know, they, you know, guys read a memo and then it's like Dwayne gets to do, but it's, it's, that's the deal. Dwayne gets to do what Dwayne wants to do because he's Dwayne. And, um, you know, I mean, and everyone accepts that they know that, but it is, it is kind of interesting that, uh, you know, I, I, I thought that, uh, his open of the show was, uh, pretty much like, he just felt to me like so much bigger of a star than than everyone else. Are you kidding me? It's, it's, this it's, guy is this guy is in another solar system. It's, did it's you watch? So, did you watch the one that he did in the gym, which was the non PG version of what he did at the beginning of of SmackDown? Oh yeah. Oh my God. What a great promo. Oh that was my God. What a great promo. Yeah. I yeah. love that every week we now get. The PG, well, this is actually PG thirteen. I would well, say on well, SmackDown. the 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 SmackDown one. I mean, they they bleeped a lot of his stuff. They did, on, on, they on did. SmackDown. But so you, happened... you get the TV version on TV. But if you go on social media, you get basically the same promo, except you get the uncensored version you of it. This. So, so the <laughs> deal so great. So the deal with the the TV, what they have to do is 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 um, um, Fox gets the script ahead of time. So they know when to bleep. So because the whole thing, the the rock promo, obviously it's 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 completely scripted. But like if it was anyone else, they would just be not allowed to say it. But with the rock, it's like he can say whatever he wants. But we know what he's going to say and when he's going to say it. So it's not so anything that they want to bleep out, they will bleep out. So, but and they know when to bleep it out because they're told ahead of time. So that's kind of the gist of of the the promo and why certain things were bleeped out and everything like that. And and they didn't miss on anything. I, the other thing I think is interesting is like, oh God. I mean, I'm glad I'm not going to like SmackDown or Raw tapings because everyone's going to be bringing signs now that they've told everyone that you know we're going to like you know, show the best signs on TV. So it's going to be like Sign City, which is kind of like, it's cool and it makes for a great atmosphere for television. Don't get me wrong. But when you're there live in the building and people are holding up signs and, you know, and, and blocking your view, that isn't so much fun. Well, this week's promo was interesting because The Rock was in Memphis and he noted that this was where he started his wrestling career. Every Saturday flea. morning, Channel the, 5, every Monday night, the big top flea market. Flex big, Cabana, was, I, he noted. I, th- I, think, I think it was the big one flea market. Well, one way or the other, this is where he started. And so he said, finally, The Rock had come back home. And he was a total baby total ba- face. On total the show. baby face until until he was running down Cody. Then well, there was there was the one period where he did get booed when he when he was trying to put over Roman Reigns. That was the only point. He was yeah. not booed for anything he said about Cody. But when he put over Roman Reigns, they did boo yeah. Roman Reigns. And uh, you know, this was I, I presume this is U.S. Canada type deal with Bret Hart. You know, out of this town, he's going to go full heel on everybody. But uh, he was. He was a big time baby face here. And, oh yeah, uh, they were way more into him than. Yeah, Cody. but you know what? I mean, like he he could he could be like that in, in 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 any city if he wanted to be. Well, of course he could. But the point is, you don't want people after all this time 
to start booing Cody right before WrestleMania. Oh God, no! That is oh, the God, last thing that. that you want. Oh, would that be that would be that that would just ruin the entire atmosphere of the show. Yes. Um, but they're going to work heel and and everything, and 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 again, they're going to put all the odds against Cody with everyone interfering in his match and everything. So. I'm not too worried about the way the way that that match is going to be portrayed. Now, if it was Cody against The Rock, it'd be one thing. That might be something to worry about. But Cody against Roman Reigns, nah. You know, the people will, you know, cheer him. But, yeah, he has to be cheered or else it just ruins everything in, in the nature of, you know, where they're going with this match, yeah. So he did a rock concert, and he buried Cody. He buried Cody's mama. He buried Seth. And he buried the Cody crybabies at the end. These fans just ate this up. This guy was having the time of his life. And then he cut the promo. And this week, the concentration was on Cody's mama. And he showed clips of Cody on Raw and tears, saying he couldn't hand the belt to Dusty, but he sure as hell could hand it to his mother. And Rock said, you responded by crying. You've got to be shitting me. That's how you responded? And he mocked Cody's tears, said Cody wasn't going to give anybody anything. And he says, I want to talk to your mama. He says, you don't know The Rock, but you're going to know me in ways you wish you hadn't. He said, Cody took something from him. He was going to make Cody pay, the family pay, the mother pay. They were going to beat Cody and Seth. Night two was going to be bloodline rules. And that night, the only belt she was going to get was this belt. He takes out a big weight belt. He goes, I'm going to whip your son. This thing is going to be covered with flesh and blood. I'm going to whip him like a dog. And then, when his blood is all over the belt, I'm going to hand it to your mother. And you're going to be crying like your son, but that's going to be okay. He whispers a song from Moana. He's going to say, you're welcome. And fans chanted his name. And God, this guy. This guy is just like, I don't know, man. We all need to enjoy it now while we can. Because he ain't going to be doing this forever. Or even much longer. Until next year when he's got to do it again to face The Rock. But goddamn, this was something Roman else. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, yes. Yeah, yeah. Incredible, incredible open to this show. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. It was It It was. It was something in that. I, I actually like the promo on, on the other promo better, but... Oh, in the but, gym? It was miles yeah. better. But but this was very entertaining, you yes. know, with the singing and everything. And uh, yeah, it was really um, unbelievably fantastic stuff, yeah. And we had LWO versus Angel and Umberto in a tag tournament qualifier. And uh, so now so so now they announced that the two winners of these matches are wrestling. I, how, on Raw, aren't the three winner the three people, the three teams all going to the tournament fine and going to the WrestleMania? Uh, I think that on Raw the, and they announced all three of those winners are going they're not are going. So is there like two more matches next week on SmackDown? I believe that SmackDown does have two more matches next week. Okay. I didn't write them down, but uh so they got the, the, the they're doing a tournament while Raw is just doing three matches, right? That appears to be what's going on, yes. Okay. That makes I'll try and sense. get the SmackDown lineup here in a second, but Angel and Umberto won. Uh pop up kick to the gut on Joaquin. So uh they are moving on in the SmackDown mini tournament version of this tournament to lead to people who get to go to WrestleMania. Yeah. Got that? All right. L.A. Knight did a promo, and he said that this A.J., he flies all over the world to beat me up, but he can't even drive to Memphis. He said, you're the biggest Mark walking. And he says, if you can't show up here, I know somewhere you won't help but show up, and that is WrestleMania. It is A.J. Styles' L.A. Knight at Mania. He vowed to whip his ass, and then A.J. attacks him from behind with a chair and says, I accept. You know, L.A. Knight is, is obviously very, very popular, but when he came out and did this promo, all I could think of is, is like, man, you're a freaking copy of The Rock. And not a, and after seeing the real one, it's like, it's like when it's The been Rock... It's obvious, like, it's, it has been obvious for a while, but now that The Rock is actually back... Well, when Rock wasn't there, it was like he was great and the people were going nuts. And they still were going, they still were reacting well to him, but it really felt... It just felt watching this L.A. Night promo to me completely different from a month ago or two months ago when Rock wasn't around and he's doing this stuff and, and he was like the hot thing. And now it's like he's not the hot thing and you've got the real Dwayne Johnson doing the promo and then this guy's trying to do the same type of promo and it's like, I mean, and, and you know, again, he's got a great delivery too, but it just, 
You just can't do it. You can't do a rock promo right now um, without looking real second rate. But he, you know, it's not like I don't know. He doesn't have another speed. He's this, this you know, he's he's got his one promo style, and he ain't gonna change it. And I would say probably shouldn't change it. But it, but this is not a time where it stands out. We had Logan Paul meeting with Nick Aldis, wanting to know how Orton was going to be punished for last week, and and uh, Nick Aldis clearly wasn't going to do anything. And so Nick goes, why don't you uh, go out there and request an apology for Morton in person? And Logan says, it's your job to make that happen. But he says, how can I expect you to do your job when you can't even find me an opponent for WrestleMania? And he walks off, which leads to an angle later. Kayla tries to interview Paul and uh, wants to know if Jimmy has a response to his brother's challenge, and Jimmy jumps back in frame and he accepts the match for Wrestlemania says you were always my little brother I raised you when we were kids I used to tell you I gotcha and this year at Wrestlemania I gotcha I mean he's like he's like a minute older well you know he's still the bigger brother he's not even bigger he's just a minute he's like a minute older he's the older brother it's a big brother okay technically it's correct 1950 pop culture quiz the blank moved from New York to San Francisco in Giants. 1957. Holy sh... <laughs> a sports question? A sports ball question. <laughs> Brian got it right. You know what sports? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> the blank corporation introduced jute boxes that could play 45 MP. RCA. Wait a minute. i got to see if I have the answer. How cool- dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong question. Hound Dog. It's an Elvis Presley song. Five. Five. <laughs> Thank God we did this. <laughs> well, what's the answer? What was the question? <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows.